So every year, this is a very popular question. Will my iPhone be supported by the next major update that Apple will release for the iPhone? Now, if history is any indication, iOS 17 is only three months away. And in this video, I wanted to do my best in order to predict which devices will be supported by Apple's next major update based on previous history, based on what Apple has done in the past. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Okay, so in order to accurately predict which devices will be supported by Apple's next major update this year, iOS 17, we sort of have to look back to see what Apple has done in the past. Now, as I mentioned before, iOS 17 developer beta one is about three months away. Apple usually holds their WWDC event towards the first or second week of June. So that puts us about three months away from the first beta. And then we'll know exactly what devices will be supported. But this time around, let's find out based on previous history, which devices could be supported by iOS 17 and which devices could be dropping from the list. Now, if we take a look back, iOS 15 and iOS 16, that was the the last time Apple dropped support for certain devices. Now, these devices you see right here were the iPhones that Apple dropped support with iOS 16. So the iPhone SE first generation, the 6S, 6S Plus, 7 and 7 plus these devices did not make it to ios 16. however apple continues to release new security updates for these devices but no new features and changes have been added to these devices since the release of ios 16 they were left behind so that puts us at about five and a half to six years of current software support and that is the key phrase current software support because as i mentioned apple continues to release security patches for those older devices but in terms in terms of new features and current software support, Apple is at about five and a half to six years of current software support for iPhones. So this time around with iOS 17, let's take a look at the iPhones here and determine which ones are of course gonna be the oldest and could most likely lose software support this year. Now, before we move forward, I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors, Case Cool. Now, I'm sure you've seen these cases laying around the studio, the Case Cool Magic Stand case. I love the colors available right now. We have the black and matte black option, as you can see right here. I've been using this one for quite some time, but they also feature a black and clear, which looks very, very sleek, as you can see right there. And they also offer additional options like purple. So if you have a purple iPhone, this one will match, as you can see right there. We also have a nice blue, and I love this gold color option. I mean, the color gold on this case just looks amazing. You guys should definitely check them out. Links, of course, will be in the description. Now, the Magic Stand case, of course, it is a magnetic stand case, as you you can see right here so when you go to use MagSafe it's actually stronger on your magnets because the additional magnets on the actual case as well so the experience on MagSafe is not interrupted and of course the case will do its job protecting your camera module as well as your screen because it does overlap those in order to protect from any impacts or scratches so check out case cool of course the case cool magic stand case all the links will be in the description with any special deals so the first thing we'd like to do is get out of the way the iPhones that will 100% get software support with iOS 17. And now when I mention a particular category like the iPhone 14, for example, that means the entire lineup, the iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max, okay? So the iPhone 14 lineup will definitely get iOS 17 support as a new device, of course. iPhone 13 lineup will definitely get iOS 17 support, 100% guarantee. There's no question about that. The iPhone 12 lineup, in my opinion, 100% guarantee these iPhones will get iOS 17 support as well. Then we jump over to the iPhones that start getting about three, four, five years old, and maybe five and a half. So we are looking at the iPhone 11 series. So the iPhone 11 series, in my opinion, will 100% get iOS 17 support. It's a fairly new device, very, very capable still. Now then we jump into the iPhone uh, 10s, 10s Max, the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, the iPhone SE, second and third generation, of course. So let's talk about the iPhone SE before we get to the older devices. iPhone SE second and third generation, in my opinion, will 100% get iOS 17 support. So we'll move these out of the way. And then we're left with the iPhone 10s series, the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 10, and the iPhone 8 series. These are the iPhones that are a bit older on the list here. But in my opinion, there's about a 90% chance that the iPhone 10s will get iOS 17 support. So if you have an iPhone 10s and 10s Max, I believe there's at least an 80 to 90% chance that iOS 17 
will be coming to those devices as well. So that's a very, very high chance. Same thing applies for the iPhone XR, in my opinion. The iPhone XR should be getting iOS 17 support as well, although I believe this could be the last year for the XR. I think the iOS 17 support will be here for these devices. And then we jump over to the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8. Now, iPhone 8 was released on September 22nd, of 2017 and the iPhone 10 series was released on November 3rd of 2017 as well. So that puts us around the five and a half year mark of current software support. Now it's kind of interesting to think that the iPhone 10 is getting old already when it just feels like it was just the other day that Apple released this new Face ID brand new generation of iPhones and now the iPhone 10 is sort of on the bottom of the list here for iOS 17 support. In my opinion, two things could happen here. When it comes to the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, these are pretty much the exact same processing power. The iPhone's differentiating factors, of course, Touch ID versus Face ID, but in terms of performance and everything like that, the chip inside the device are pretty much the same. They're about five and a half years of age now. And I think that Apple could continue to support these devices, although I give it about a 50 50% chance of these devices supporting iOS 17. Yeah, the iPhone 8, again, that includes the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10, could be dropped from the list this year of iOS 17 support. If we go by previous history of five and a half to six years of current software support. So now you guys have it pretty much all devices supported by iOS 16 would be supported by iOS 17, and there's a 50-50% chance that the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 will make it this year with iOS 17. Now, if you want to see a video on iPads, let me know in those comments down below, but there you guys have it. Those are going to be my predictions for iOS 17 iPhone support this year. Again, we're about three months away. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.